celebrated career. He comes in to put the Blues on the board in the first minute and a half of play. And Eddie Betts strolls in and splits the middle. Get on Ed. Great stuff. Great start. The Blues get the first goal. Yeah, so Amira gets him late. Just didn't need to do that. It was undisciplined. So that's a poor start after criticism the Hawks mids have received during the week. But he's starting to find a bit of form, Louis. He was Cottrell is in there. Gets the handball out. That was good handball. Now a chance for Carlton. Silvani takes the mark. Read it beautifully in the air. Got to the front position. Look at his career accuracy, 29% this season at goal. It's a career low for him, so... He comes in from pretty much point blank range, and this time, no mistake, Carlton get their second through Silvani. We've been saying that for generations. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, great to see. It. What I liked about that, the Carlton build up, is they're more controlled, Louis. So yep. they play on more than any side in the competition. Uh, sometimes I think at their detriment, they, uh, they go so fast they can't get organised if they do turn the ball over. They're more composed, they kick the ball through the middle of the ground, so when they did enter inside 50, at least they'll set up behind. Jeez, I've just said, Rita Silvani's just been on the no, line. Don't forget Surge. Yes, uh, don't don't forget get... Surge. I don't know what 50 looks like if that's not 50, George. <laughs> Jeez, I'd like to be playing for you up on, mate. Sometimes you don't hear the whistle, Ed. Oh, oh, fair, fair, enough. Enough. fair enough. If you can fake sincerity, you got it, mate. Walsh dances his way inside 50, drives it, goal square. Perfection. And always kicks it from the goal line. Brilliance from the Blues. <laughs> Now, it's, is that crafty midfield play or uh, going for a rest or a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of cheating? I'm not sure. I think it's great reading of the play. He's a star, Sammy Walsh. Gets out the back and falls beautifully. Leads to the goal. So, well done there. Hawthorne need to be able to watch that. And Jarman Impey on the open side just got caught ball watching. If, if you're on the open side and, you, and you're a defender, you've got to be turning your head. A little flick over the top. Cottrell's got it. Gave it to Givens. Got some space. Pulled the kick wide to Owies. Just kick one, should be confident. Eddie. Turns inside, heads toward goal. Goal square to Coding. Unselfish play. First game for the season. And he's driven it through by a coat of paint. <laughs> now, we were talking before the game. I was watching the Coding. He missed one from 15 metres out and didn't have another practice to get his uh, confidence up. He still he missed that from here. I think I saw the same thing. So if you watch the bottom of the screen, Greaves, as soon as he sees Eddie Betts, then he's got a, a decision to make and, and just creates a little bit of... to drag the defender out. You're right. I, I watched him pre-game as well. It, it didn't look like he had his kicking boots on. <laughs> looked like he had his slippers on. Oh. Look at that one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, it's in the book as a goal. <laughs> you get six points for it, and Carlton now. They've come with 17 points down to be a goal down, and Walsh, another possession. They set it up to Williams, who's got plenty on that, and drives it all the way home for his first goal as a blue. Well, the goal umpire didn't move, did he, Brownie? It was great. As soon as it hit Reeves' yeah, boot, it looked flush. So this is a boundary throwing, so you should have your forwards up, your forwards up to the back of the stoppage. You can just see there, I think it was Cousins, just got caught ball watching. And what all good halfbacks do, they understand where the dangerous space is. So you keep yourself, you own the greatest space, so when your opponent gets caught ball watching, you're off. Absolutely. This is the value you can bring to the team, Zach Williams. So he's been recruited as a midfielder. He's not a friend of the shepherd. I haven't heard of the Shepherd for a few years. Walsh allowed to go. Heads toward goal with possession 18. Oh, well, they've been able to stop the Sheriff, but they can't stop the Deputy. <laughs> at five scoring goals, so clearly best on ground. Look at that. They, they, they sort of stopped the Hawthorne players. But but Sammy was just waiting for it and away he went. It's great vision because he forced his opponent inside the stoppage. So you go, OK, if my opponent's going to get the ball, he's in traffic. I'll hold the outside. So a lot of his possessions today have been holding on the outside of the stoppage. So if he gets the ball, he's got time and space. The effectiveness of the switch has sort of diminished a bit with the ball being held up. But in the end, he was stopping his brilliance. He got it to side. And now Eddie Betts is 55 out. Look at that. Lace out. Thank you very much. Eddie Betts, brilliance. Swing on their left foot, Ed. <laughs> uh, he got away with it. Well, mark that one down to Sam Doherty for brilliance taking the mark. Now, Owies comes in to 
have the shot from 30 metres out, directly in front. They like it. The Blues cheer squad goes up, and that is now three in a row this term for the Carlton Football Club. Up nice, there's a beautiful kick by Betts. Hit up Owies, who's been fantastic today, Owies. He's been able to hit the scoreboard, he's had plenty of score involvement, so he's been a good inclusion the last few weeks, Louis. He has a, a good mark by Doherty, a good genuine one-on-one -on -one with Phillips. And then to have the foresight and the realisation that Sard's running past, so you give it straight away, and then, then the defence... Needs to crash through, and does. Just did enough body. No stat for that, but it made the difference. Silvani now has a bounce. Not much up forward, has a second bounce. He's waiting and waiting. Waiting for big Harry. Harry! Oh, he got hands to the ball. And he bats! And he bats! You beauty! Um, or even a, an older kid sitting at home, if you're a small forward... Watch the way that Eddie Betts plays. Watch the way that Luke Bruce plays because their last two goals have come from just small forward craft. They're probably two of the best small forwards that we'll ever see in our game. And that was just fantastic. Read the play really well. Good kick by Silvani coming in just to give it a bit more air to allow. Decides to bomb it in long. Eddie Betts is under the pack here. They all wait. It goes over the head of Gibbons as well. Awkward bounce. It comes out the back to Pinnanet. Pinnanet's kick at the goal. He's put it through. Carlton back in front. Great dexterity from the big man. The little blokes couldn't get it. They had to leave it to the tallest bloke in the team to kick the goal. Decision. Oh, jeez. And the ball just bounces straight past him and Pitnett couldn't believe his luck. Bill Murphy looked up. A little too slick for Walsh. Shut down by Cousins. Flicks it back to Murphy. Hits a good spot with the kick. Gibbons. Great grab. Under the heat. Held his ground and played a full game of footy. Held his spot in the team. And this kick, huge for momentum. That's his set shot history. This spot all grounds for an eight-point lead in the shadows of three-quarter time. So I think you said it, Brownie. Lovely finish against the grain. Hawthorne had been pressing and pressing inside 50 after inside 50. Carlton go down the other end and score. Yeah, but, uh, trying to move the ball too quick, Carlton. And they're number 18 in the competition for kicking efficiency. Third and fourth time, they can hit the scoreboard. You saw the stat there. They're going well in the in the scrimmages at the moment. The Carlton Football Club. Cripps got it out. Oh, and he bets! Up he goes! From 55, bets to the goal line. Up they go, front free square, free kick. Free yeah. kick to Carlton. That was spectacular from Eddie Betts. What a mark. Mackay comes in and kicks his first. Third in a row for the Blues, and suddenly they grab this game by the throat. Well, I've seen this before too. Mackay works his way back in. No matter how poor he's playing, this is the Betts mark. How good to see. We spoke about him today. He's moved well in the last few weeks. He's got his confidence back in his body. Moves the ball quickly. Let's just watch Hardigan. He gets caught out. It's clever here by Mackay, though, isn't it? Clever that he realised that, that Hardigan was caught in an uncompromised position, so he's going to make contact. His eyes went on the ball, and he's going to make contact, so you've just got to literally fall over in that instance, yeah. and the umpire will, will pay a free kick. Required. Comes back to Kuno, <laughs> hits it off the ground twice. Here's Mark Murphy. CJ grabs him, didn't have the ball. Oh. Free kick. Free kick. He was blindsided, CJ. Lining up for goal. If he kicks this, it'll be his 196th career goal. And what a moment in the game. Murphy comes in. The roar of the crowd tells you the result. He kicks a big goal after an enormous individual effort in that third term by Mark Murphy. Mitchell up to 41 touches. He averages 39 and a half against Carlton, believe it or not. And big Harry comes out full chested and takes the mark. We run out to left and make up a couple of metres. And by calls play on a big oh. Harry gives it a roost. He gives it a magnificent roost. He kicked the goal. Harry Mackay. What a goal for Carlton. What a kick. He embraced the moment. He seized the moment. On the final, you think back to Franklin, sort of 07, when, when the moment's there and you, when you're a young key forward and you haven't had the best day, to have a kick like that when the game is on the line, 55 out, to really seal the win for your team.
the ripple effect that that has on your team, the confidence it gives 